Okay, now you know what? Samsung Gallery application is a lot more powerful than you think it is and you may not be using it to its fullest potential. So in today's video, let me tell you some incredible things your Gallery application can do. Let's dive right into the video. Now when you're inside the gallery and inside a specific album, what you can do is you can swipe towards the right to access the albums right here on the left hand side and all the images will appear right here on the scrolling window. Now on the left, we have got all the albums available. Each album can be accessed right from here. And if you want to move a specific image into a specific album, you can do that as well by just pressing and holding on a specific image and dragging it and dropping it into a specific folder that you want. It asks you to cancel, move or copy. You can just tap on copy or move depending on what you want to do, as simple as that. So sorting the files from albums as well as dragging and dropping an image from one folder to another is very, very simple and easy inside your gallery application. For this, you need to be on album section and inside a specific album. Now, if you want to get rid of the albums on the left, all you need to do is just swipe towards the left again from these images, as simple as that. Next, right here on this page, we can select the images and we can drag them and drop them into another folder. Let me show you that. Let me just select a few images here. I will just press and hold on it and drag it. As you can see, I can drop it into any album here or I can also go back here using the other finger and here I can drop it into any of the folders. Let me just drop it into maybe album two here, which I've just created. I just drop it here. It will show me to copy or move. I can just tap on move or copy. Now those images are right here. So it's very easy to copy or move the images from one album to another by just selecting the files and dropping them into another album. Now this one is very important. Check this out. Let me go to the video section here. Now we've got all the videos here. Let me open one of them here. Now this is the default view that you get. This is the film strip in Viewer. You can just swipe towards the right or left to check out all the other videos. And you can just tap on a specific thumbnail here to expand that video and you can always seek the video just like this. Now this is something which is by default. Now here when you're playing a video, you don't get the additional options that you want. For example, audio eraser, creating GIF, etc. will not appear on this mode. For that, what you need to do is you need to tap on the three dot button and open the video in video player. This is Samsung's own video player and you can open it here. Now you can see we have got GIF option, screenshot option, audio eraser option right here. We can also press and hold on the video for slow motion. All these options will appear on Samsung's video player. But to access this, you need to tap on the three dot button. Now instead, what you can do is you can play these videos right on the video player when you tap on this play button here. For this, go to the gallery settings and here you will see a toggle open in video player. Now what this will do is this will open all those videos by default in video player. Let me just open this video here. As you can see now, we have got play video button. When I tap on play video, this video is now opened on the video player application. As you can see, when I just tap on the screen, it'll give me all these additional options. So you don't really have to tap on the three dot button and then open the video in video player. You can just tap on the play video button here to directly access the video player and open that file in the video player. Next, we have got a pretty cool feature on gallery application. Let me tap on gallery settings. Now here we have got something called detail enhancer. You can see when I tap on this, we have got uh, three options here. It says automatically upscale the resolution when you crop or remaster an image or when you change the key image on a motion photo. Now you can set it to maximum, minimum or turn it off. It's always better to set it to maximum because it's going to increase the resolution and upscale the image when you crop or remaster an image. So go ahead and select maximum. Next, Samsung has made it very easy to search the images by tapping on search button. You can see I have got the search button right here at the bottom. Now if you don't have it, I will tell you how you can get it on your gallery. Let me tap on search and now you can see I can search the images, I can search documents, activity, AI edited images, edited images, short types, portrait, video, panorama, selfie and hyperlapse. Now here we have got the search bar. Now this is a very advanced search bar. It's an AI search bar basically. You can key in whatever you want. It's going to search the images for you. Now here let me search the images by color. Let's say pink, I'll tap on search. As you can see, all those images which has got pink color will appear right here. Now let's say I want to search my own images. What I can do is I can search for me. Let me just search. It says make sure we have got the right person for the search. 
Now I can search myself here by tapping on, by selecting my image. I'll tap on done. Now all the images where I am available on the photo will appear here. So searching is very easy. We also get the portrait and selfie options. Let's say I want to search for selfie. I can tap on selfie images. And let's say I want to uh, search for the portrait images. I can tap on portrait. I get all the portrait images right here. So it is that simple and easy to search images within the gallery application. And not just that, you can search the images by tags or describe the words available on that image. Let's say you remember a specific word from an image. If you search for it, it will show those images which has got that word or letter. Or you can describe the image. Let's say I want to search for Batman riding. I'll just say Batman riding the bike. It is searching for the image. There it is. We have got the image right here. This is how you can search the images by describing it. Now, maybe many of you guys don't explore the stories option on your gallery. But if you're into social media, stories is a great feature available on the gallery on the Samsung Galaxy phones. You can share the auto created stories or you can create your own stories. As you can see, we've got a powerful tool here to create a story. You can write down the people, places and activities you want in your story. Then gallery will automatically create it for you. Now here, let me just describe this images of diamond bridge, blue lagoon, me and my wife images. Let's see what happens. Let's search for this. It's compiling the images and it asks me which one is your wife. Of course, I just have one wife. So let me select this image. Uh, there's no other uh, female images inside the gallery. So let me tap on done. And now it is stitching the story together. Images of Diamond Bridge. Okay. Now there is an issue here. It says couldn't create story. You might not have enough photos yet or the description might be uh, too complicated. Now this pop-up I always get when I try to create a story. So you have to keep it very simple and short maybe. Let's try this. Me and my wife's images from Georgia. So let's keep this very simple. Let's see what happens now. Again, it's the same issue. For some reason on my device, it is not creating a story when I describe it. Let me know if it is working on your device. Now, if it is not working, what you can do is you can always go to the three dot button here and create the story manually. You can just name the story and then select the images. Uh, let me just pick up a few images from here and some more here. And let me tap on done and here you go. It has created a story. Manually, it is very, very easy to create a story. So go ahead and check this out and let me know whether this is working fine on your device. Now, once the story is ready, you can just tap on download or you can further edit it or you can watch again. Let me just download this and this will be saved inside the gallery under the stories section. Here we go. This is the story which we just created. Now, the next interesting feature inside Samsung Gallery is shared albums. Now, when you go to the gallery, you can tap on menu here and tap on shared albums. Now here you can add the images or videos inside this shared album and share it with your family member or friend by adding their contact number. Let me tap on get started. I will create a shared album, choose contact or add Samsung accounts. You can either select a contact which is linked to Samsung account or you can choose a Samsung account itself or you can share the link. Anyone with the link and a Galaxy device can join this particular group. Let's select choose contacts or add Samsung accounts. I'll select my wife's number here. I'll tap on invite and tap on OK. Now once she accepts it, whatever I add on this specific shared album will be available on her device as well. As simple as that. I can just add a few images, tap on done. Now this is available on my phone as well. And the same shared album is available on the other person's phone as well. So this is a very powerful and a very useful feature if you want to share videos and images within your family or friends, no matter where you are. Okay, now we are getting into the second part of the video. And in the second part, we are going to unlock the hidden features on the Samsung Gallery application. And to do that, all you need to do is go to the menu option, tap on settings button, scroll all the way down and tap on about gallery. And here, keep tapping on the version number multiple times like this, you will unlock the gallery labs and that will show up right here at the bottom. Now this gallery labs is hidden. You can enable it by going to about gallery and tapping on the version number. Now once it is enabled, this will unlock the whole array of options. And I'm going to show you some very useful options which can be enabled inside gallery labs. Now the first one. By default, when you open an image or video, we have got the film strip available right here. Now, everyone may not prefer having a film strip right here. You can completely disable this film strip 
or you can have some additional options as well. Let me show you that. Let's go back to the gallery uh, labs here. Let me tap on gallery labs. Now here, I will just scroll down. We have got this option called film strip in Weaver. Now what this does is this is support film strip in Weaver for scrolling. Now if you want to get rid of the film strip, you can always disable this. But what I suggest you to do is keep this film strip on and go to the next tab here, video player mode on film strip. This will give you three different options, default, none, where you will get the play video button and legacy video seek bar. Now this play video button we have already seen in the beginning of the video where you get the play video button by tapping on which it will open the video inside the video player. Now let's select legacy video seek bar and tap on OK. Now for this particular uh, settings to be effective, you need to close the gallery and then reopen it. When you use gallery labs, always make sure you close the gallery and then reopen it to get that uh, particular settings working. Now let's go to the video section. Now here let me open a video. As you can see, the moment I open a video, it will start playing the video and we have got the video seek bar right here. And it's very easy to seek the video here. Instead of tapping on this video here and then seeking it right here, you can just open the video here and use the seek bar right here. That's another option that we have. And if you want to open the video in video player, you can open it right here. So you get both the option, you get the video seek bar here, right here at the bottom. And you can also get to choose the video player option right here. So that can be set up by going to gallery labs and changing the film strip settings. All you need to do is go to uh, gallery labs, scroll all the way down, under One UI 3.0 options, you get film strip, enable film strip in Weaver and tap on video player mode on film strip and select legacy video seek bar. As simple as that. Likewise, there are many features on gallery labs which you can explore. We have got private album which supports private storage to keep image and video in hidden areas. Then we have got add search tab. When you enable this, you will get the search tab right here at the bottom. You can see I have got the search button right here. This is enabled through gallery labs. Then we have got options like use AI zoom, add search tab, show full address in details, show sticky data and location, open in other window. This is also a very useful feature when you have enabled this. What happens here is you can open a specific image here and tap on the three dot button and tap on open in other window. You'll be able to open the same image in other window and you can also check out the rest of the images within the gallery. So we have got two gallery windows open here and if you want to edit a specific image uh, and copy and paste those edits, you can do that as well. And it will be very useful while editing. Let's say I want to clip the subject from this particular image and drop it on this image. I can easily do that. You can see I was able to quickly do it by using this uh, feature. Without this feature, it becomes a little difficult. You have to open the image in one window. Then you'll have to clip it, go back to the other image and paste it. But here, simultaneously, you'll be able to edit these images by keeping them side by side. So this is a very powerful feature we have got. Then we have got a few more options like go to studio. We can enable go to studio button. Then we have album entry locks. You will be able to lock your album with your password. Then we have show virtual albums, save as PDF option. You get the PDF option on the images. And then we have got multiple picture printing, film strip in Weaver, which we already saw, and a few more options here. So Gallery Labs enables lot many options, lot many features when you enable it on your gallery settings. So go ahead and do that. These are some very cool and useful features which you should make use of on your gallery application on your Galaxy phone. If I missed any features, do add it in the comment section below. That will benefit the community. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And if you're interested in this beautiful wallpaper, the gradient wallpaper, it's available on Volvo's application. We are running an offer right now. There is a 50% discount on the lifetime membership. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check that out. Go to your profile, tap on premium. You will see 50% discount on the lifetime membership. If you want to upgrade, this is the right time for you to upgrade. So go ahead and do that. That's about it. That's all I have here. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.